So then, we are back with the more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the Word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of Israel from the times of old, and then giving us the understandings of the time of the end, and how should we then get our bearings from these times and seasons, and also the prophecies. Then, in terms of Yerushiahu, then the 61st chapter, we are during the time of rebuilding. So many people may ask, Regarding then, what is going to be the religions then during this time? There won't be very many. The religions are not going to play any part in this new era. At least not for a long while. Because most of the people are going to spend time trading. That's why. For quite some time they have to realize that their religions, in fact, it's causing the most of the trouble. So then what is the uh, relationship then of the countries from a secular viewpoint and then revelation. No, very simple. It is what Daniel said. Daniel said at the end of time then the nations would try to come together and they would not adhere to each other. Each country they have their own integrity, their own sovereignty and they are going to do trade. Trade with each other, trade mostly importantly with China. And their religions are going to be put aside for some time. As far as politics, you understand, UN is going to be a whole lot more important. Because as then the nations, they develop their trade system, they have to have then a centralized place where they come and visit. Because each government then, they're going to have a share of the sales via trade. Because what we understand today of then a country, for instance, ordering grain, or ordering petroleum, or ordering products, won't be the same in the future. You know, the government being as the mid-person, that's going to be nearly done away with. You know, the people, they're going to start having direct dealings prior of their governments. But they have to give a share of what they trade with. That's why it's going to be so strong, so powerful. So if you have then enough, you can order to ship yourself with products. So it's changing very, very, very much. And then they have to come together and then they have to talk of what they are doing and then how they are going to relate with each other based upon these. But the main language is going to be the trade's language. So then this situation of uh, big governments and justifying such big agencies is a situation of the past. The governments are going to be very lean because it doesn't require. The whole system is going to be computerized. Very few hard copies of information because the whole information is going to be stored up in backup systems. So it doesn't justify big governments anymore. Those are of the past. And then based upon the trade that they do, then they have to deduct it from taxes. 
And then comes the whole new deal of how they're going to have taxes then taken from what they have sales. It's a brand new system. We had never done this before. But we know it's going to work perfectly because we find then China doing trade with the entire world. Because we know the future. So the system is going to work very nicely. And then the United Nations is going to be very prominent. Because rather than we ourselves spending our money, spending our resources to patrol the waters of the world, then other nations, they are going to do their share. Mostly Chinese. Because they have the vastly military so they can patrol those critical areas. But the main aim of the future is simply patrols. No country would want conflict. Try to understand why. Because of the trade. Try to understand trade language, trade system. Then each home they're going to have to have a router, a computer, and then cables. They don't want those bombed, do they? They don't depend upon the governments anymore. They have their own, so to speak. Though they have responsibilities of paying taxes. So the relationship from country to country, they have to come to United States, then UN, for a talk. It's not the unification of the world system. It's simply coming so they can understand what each country should do to maintain the patrols around the world so then peace is maintained. That's the main aim because each country to his own. As Prophet Daniel prophesied many centuries ago. So then, time of rebuilding. So from the perspective of the Messiah, then when he was speaking at the 24th chapter of Metichiahu, then we find sections that he was speaking of the temple would be destroyed, and then pest, and then famine, and then pestilences regarding any times of the end. And then, he did not mention, because then obviously the Gospels, they were put together hastily, you can easily find this factor because you go from a story to the other story and it doesn't give many details from the time of the prophecies. And we understand if you read the prophets, those prophecies given, those are related with also with the renewed covenant, but sometimes you don't find in the Gospels. But you know for sure the Messiah spoke of them. So then you can start an understanding of yours in your mind. Then each person around the world with a computer can do trade via computer. Do you think they would want a war? There is no sense in war anymore because the products from China, they are very inexpensive. So a person with a computer and a very tiny amount of money, they would be able to do trade of the simplest items. So the encouragement of war is absolutely ridiculous. That's why wars are prohibited. Because the great creator, he is on the other side of the line over there at the end of the manufacturing line or the product line. And you say, oh, what are you doing over there? So then we should get busy and lined up with it. The faster we get these, in quote, knuckleheads to put their heads together and stop wars, the faster then people can get online.
it would be a combination of banking and eBay at the same time. You know, buying products, products for sale. But then you have internet and the trade language that we have over there at the New York Exchange. The whole situation mixed up together, perfectly neat. What would be fun though, it would have then technologies, for instance, um, electric cars, and then have this computerized system in a car. While we're driving around, they were linked up with the equipment over there in space, directly to your banking, and as you drive along, you know what's going on. And then if you understand the electric systems, for instance, areas where they are very heavily contaminated, where they can introduce the uh, electric cars, then it has to have a charging station, then it has to have banking. But then you yourself would have an ATM machine in your own car. Because that's the deal. You do the whole package either at your place or in your car, wherever where anybody goes. And those are virtual numbers. Once you have then your trade language converted to your money to your country, you simply have to have a link with your bank. And then you simply transfer those values to your bank and then you go over there at the ATM machine and get your money. Please stay tuned.